previously in custom model creation. It's fucking mad. That's what you did. We got the model here. Uh, and you see how it's like this. That's no problem. And we're going to go down to where it says normal now. Boom. We have fucking done it, son. And now when we go into radiant and we come over here, we press M and we go type in custom. I've already done it. Got the, got the flipping model here. You come up and oh, okay. Well, here's a problem. Look at the size of the model. It's a tiny little weenie little thing. Yeah, a little tiny little thing. There's not much you can do with that. Unless you know about KVPs. You press N and oh, you got the model scale. You can press well, maybe like 15 maybe. <gasps> what? How did he know? I That was uh, that was a magical moment there. I'm getting good at guessing. So I'm just rotating it. I'm going to put it in the floor. I'm going to move it over there. And we're going to do uh, build light. So we've got some fucking shadows. Look at that shit. Look at that fucking rip man rip okay let's do another build a light okay so you see how the shadow is really bad i'm going to show you how you sort that out go all the way up to your sun volume and change this phase the split distance i'm going to put 500 for now now when we build lights it will sort all the shadow out a bit more don't go too low because it might just depends how big your map is if you've got a really small map then you can go high detail but yeah so now we've got a really cool tombstone and you can go in pretty much any map and just m drag it in boom and it will load it all together so that's how you bring in custom models not just freaking raced in other call of duty models this is any freaking model on the internet if you want to you can flip and make your own damn model and assign all the textures and everything and export it in and, and put it in the game like this let's show you this in game Yo, what's up? We're in game now, and look at this. This is fucking awesome. We haven't got any clips or any weapon clips or anything, so it's not making any interactions there, but it's in game, and I'll show you how to put the clips in if you want to put a weapon clip and a normal clip in there. We've got the tree in here as well, this crazy guy who looks like he's tripping. What's up, Bert? They look too good there. Anyway, and we've got, the, we've got the bench in here as well. Uh, that's cool. So we're back in Radiant. I'm just going to put a clip around this model now. What we can do is right click and go to clip generation settings and do generate clip. Right? You see it made a pretty messed up one. So what we can do is just control Z that and do detail percent. Put that up just a bit and do generate clip brush. And it's a bit better now you can see. And what we're going to do is just replicate it. We do space and put it back in the place. And we're also going to turn it into a weapon clip. If we press T and type in weapon. So weapon and double click on there. Now when we save, and now we've got to compile it. But let's just say that you would prefer it was a bit darker, but you don't want to have to go all the way back and change the and edit the photo. What you can do is go into Ape and find the material, which is the Blin one in this case, go down and you see here where it says albedo tint. If you click the little palette there, look at that, we can actually change it like this way. And this is so cool for updating everything global scale and making it just that bit cooler okay so that looks pretty cool and we can just do control s on there and save it which is save all next thing to do is compile and we'll have a look at that welcome back and we're in game again but look this time okay well there's a zombie there but there we go we have a clip and because it's clipped now it's behaving how you'd expect it to behave you know, in a normal game, you would probably clip it much higher, but in this case, it's just a demonstration of what you can do. So we're going to go like this. Yeah, see. Boom. And yeah. See how it changed color as well, which is pretty cool. We haven't clipped this guy, so we can go walk right through him. But yeah. That is pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more. See you later. Goodbye.